And hello, welcome back. We are going to do something a little bit. It's North Realms Gaming, of course, but uh, North Realms for North Realms Gaming. But we're going to try something a little bit different with the Sons of the Forest today. I'm going to attempt to try to do normal mode, solo. Uh, you see, I would consider that kind of like multiplayer realm, co op realm. Uh, personally, for me, anyway, I'm not sure how anyone else sees it, but, um, yeah, I, what the heck, right? Let's, let's try it and, and see what happens. Probably going to get my butt kicked several times, but that's not a problem. Um, even with one other player, it's sometimes challenging depending on the scenarios and what's being sent at you, um, in the different waves. Uh, I think three or more shouldn't be so bad. Right, so if you got three or more buddies playing, I think it should be relatively easy. I would, I would say. Uh, I, I can't say relatively easy because, you know, I haven't been there. However, I think we can kind of fast forward this scene, which I need. Just like we did. We can already did this. We're in normal mode. This is probably not going to end well. Let's see if we get, you know, maybe the beach. No, I don't want the beach. I'm not going to get it. Get the jungle or the mountain or something. Let's see. <laughs> um, so we're going to skip through to the crash site. Oh, we're in the mountain. Yep, looks like the mountain. Oh. Oh. oh, here we go. Oh no, it's not the end of it. Dudes, wake up. Oh my. Oh, oh no, we got ejected. <laughs> oh. Well, I got, ouch. I gotta say, hey, she just kicked our hand that time. Oh yeah. Or they. Right. So we're in the mountain. It's a familiar place for me. It's some peaceful campaigning here. It's a difficult one to and it's not a very big base area that we start off with here. Well, the one good thing is, is that there's lots of trees here, and Calvin can help out, steady, steady uh, stream of fresh water right here. Also, there's fish, so that's a good thing. Hey, Calvin, hold up, bud. I'm gonna come back to you. Pick up all my starting, starting stuff. Items, bonus items. Arrows right up. Right. Could automatically select to put this over any other item. We've already covered all this in the basics, so I'm <clears throat> not really going to go into any detail with this. Let's just say we do need these items. Oh, briefcase. Oh no, I got that first one across there. We're good now. Oh, rabbit. Hey, Calvin, got some meds for you. Get up, bud. We're gonna be in deep thick of it when morning comes. Or nighttime, sorry, should I say, comes. Potentially, we might get away with a night. Next night, 
Definitely not, but absolute best case scenario we might have till the end of the second day. But let's see, sons of the forest gods, help us today. So first thing we're gonna need. Oh, I don't think. Everywhere else. First thing we're gonna need here is to get sticks. Get sticks and drop here for now. Get colder. Sticks will allow us to build some of the holder, the storage holders as everybody knows. Our, our build this time is gonna be focusing on putting up a very super quick parasite. There's not even any probably point on maybe even putting in a house, but we could maybe build a very small simple log cabin just literally the log cabin that's in the book oops uh oops forgot about these initial animes or animations are pretty lengthy Yeah, because it's a diagram. Dramatic, yeah. Okay. Backside and encapsulated here. The only thing is, we'll have to come out to get our water, we'll have to come out to get our fish, but at least it's it. Hey, oh, he dropped some. Thank you. Take those. For spear mission. Put them on an egg. Great nice. Very nice. Okay, come on. Oh wow. The grooves in the snow are causing me difficulty. But this works. Okay. Why that? Fish. The river? Going my oh, look at that. That went lopsided. This one's good.
Let this leave. Oh, it's so hard to judge the angle. Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> we can get this. So well, it might just be a little strange from this point of view. against the background. It must be an optical illusion. That, that top looks like it's totally pointing back from west to east or whatever, from left to right. Right. Take a look. And look at that. It's straight almost. It's even a little bit off the other way, but not much. If that's... Sticks you probably oh, keep here. Sound is so awesome. <laughs> All right, let's go catch up some fish. Oh, there were several more in here. Oh. Um, oh, there's another one. For me now. Here's the thing: you can only hold three fish at a time. Pretty sure. Run them back. That's why we build two of these. You put them on the fire and cook them as well. But I think it's three of all, any kind. So these these meat holders here are ideal. It's six each. So we got thrown away here if we ever got them fully populated. I think I saw. Them. Usually what I'll do is I'll like build. Ah, there's trap. Right here. Sometimes two. Actually, most time. One at the beginning of the entrance here. <coughs> Excuse me. Move it right. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, and then another one right here. This I consider a walkway. This will be the entrance and exit to this side. We're not. We're gonna make a really small but hopefully secure base here. And try to circle it with a palace, a uh, uh, log palisade for at least the beginning. Sticks, so I'm gonna keep oven for now on sticks. Manually.
Oops. Put it in the way. Quite a bit of stone here too, so that's another good good point here, a good quality of this spot. But if we get killed here, it's a pretty long run back from the camp. Not like the lake. Actually might have been more ideal to be back at the lake, but it seems to be so far <clears throat> with my testing of this game that doesn't seem to want to put you into ideal scenarios, right? When I wanted to be up here, it put me on the beach, and when I wanted to be on the beach, it put me up here. So, I guess we're going to need to be persistent and be versatile enough to be able to survive in an area. So, what we're going to do was, is a hostile environment, but everybody this is not normal nothing crazy of course but even normal can be pretty challenging at the start look at this little rabbit oh <laughs> uh he got away but better to get rabbits with you here yeah. oh you little lucky bugger pull your luck run out gotcha yeah <laughs> It ran out. Shouldn't be jumping around like that. Um, yeah. Fire. Where is the door on this thing? Right here might be. Sticks. <laughs> now, there they are. Okay. Right. Yeah, this fire started quickly. I. Okay. Yeah, I'm pulling it all. For anyone who might be old enough to pick up on that song. <clears throat> but. But don't worry about it. All good. Because we are going to get our butts handed to us probably. <laughs> in the nighttime when the cannibals get here in the Sons of the Forest. Or in a normal version, so. It, oh, good, nice hot. What? Hey, that, maybe, here, maybe that's a good sign. Oh, oops. Drop and roll in the water. That was a nice <laughs> relieving sound. Yeah. I need one in there. Very well. Quickly. Remember where we got that big, tech, that big, bigger version of the axe? But I actually really like that. <clears throat> oh, what happened? Pretty went out. Is it so cold in the snow? Oh, where'd the other one go? Wait. Did it, didn't I just throw one out here? I got, whoa. <laughs> Okay, I, I'm losing it. I only put one on the fire. There's two split here. That means there's one quarter log somewhere. Where the hell did it go?
Guess it's nothing. Maybe that's the leftover. Oh, that was the that one. Uh. One rabbit I like. Okay, Calvin, I think you know what, bud? I don't even have enough sticks here. Should build it. So here, everything's going to need to be around the outside, right? Is it already getting dark? We better switch over to logs. Get some logs going now. Sticks for the time being. Send them out to get stone. I need to make sure that the perimeter wall area here is clear of obstacles. So we can put up the palisade. Also, I need. great area for heavy stone unlike the beach the beach does not have any aware of, of these large large stones
Okay. <coughs> well. Keep it going. Oh. <laughs> like beating up that tree there. I have a dog named Tim. Oh. oh wow. Apparently that tree didn't look like that. <laughs> it's decided to collapse. Some logs, enough logs for oven to keep yourself busy for a bit. Get him, Boogie. Go, Calvin, go. Bring those. I can really kind of good storage here, but not yet. It's the belt to survive. Hopefully. This doesn't guarantee us survival, but it might help prolong our deaths. Let's see. We need to put the tent up. Be basically first night out in the open. Unless we can get this up and a bed made before dark, which is gonna be tough to do, but hey, you never know. Now that both of us are working on it. Everything just fell apart. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. at all times. Oh, I see. Boring in it.
dark. A little bit of weird processing there. I don't know if that's something on my side. My buddy was saying it might be something to do with my the hertz, but I think it's unoptimized. It might be unoptimized code of some sort. That's as you can see, it's only when it's doing specific actions, right? Which makes me lead me to believe it's not something that would be permanently on, like a overall graphic set. But could be. Nice. So we'll keep an eye out for that, see if we can make that better. Um, so we'll have to just a shot, I guess. Let's see. Do a quick save. Pick one of my other ones. Don't interfere with any of the other stuff. Come on, and, oh, and let's if we made it. Yep, we didn't get attacked. Right, good. Good sign. It's a little bit of a chance to get some kind of fence going here. And always, if you you know, if, if you need to, you can always just take down your dried your fish that's drying and cook it. If you, you need to eat it before it gets dried. It takes a while to dry. Yeah. Beer fishing. Any um, of you? How in the world did the fire go out? my friends is why I never take all of the sticks from the stick holder <laughs> uh, what the heck happened here it's such a strange thing that the fire is going out a lot quicker than as and look it just disappeared not even a mark usually there's a 
fire. Strange. Like it wants me to freeze to death or something. I do need to. So, I'm going to start to. Do Okay, bring me up to about full. Oh, nice, all the way. Wow, these types of roofs are so wasteful. Well, it'll all go to firewood. But it was going so. It was crouching that whole time. Alright. Looks cool like that, but man, is that ever a paint? All those, all the same stuff. Almost slid down there. That was not cool.
Okay. So we're just kind of starting up Palisades. Oh. So I'd like to see that little line that shows me it's connected. I'll leave that for later for Calvin to cut. Oh. Basics, absolute basics, necessities here. And or at least I'd like to build that bed some more. We're gonna need some torches for night and stuff, so we're just gonna run up here and see. You know, this is on hostile, but I wanna see if I can. Oh, oh where do you go? <laughs> it turns so fast. Is it? Okay, I should have had that. Thank you. You need the food. Really? Oh, how did this log get all the way up here? Holy crap. Okay, so let's sneak up here and see. Hopefully, this is not habitat, like, not hostile up here. Sure, but I'm gonna go. I don't think it is, though. So. I need the cloth for the torches. The spot. Cloths. A few other things too. Oh. In it. There's the can opener. Okay. Where I got the can opener. Okay. And then the little bit more down here. So now that we have cloth, might as well make. Oh. Let's go get a couple sticks and make a torch. Because I need them. Now they're nowhere to be. Probably cleared out this area too. We go. Oh, oh. Hiding in the thick snow. It's just one anyway. The forever torch.
Hey, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Let's build the holder. Back on log soon. I don't know what's going on with that one that's short, because looks like it was full log, so weird, like it's going into the foundation weird or something, I don't know, it's strange. Guys are drying fast. I wonder if it's because it's so cold, maybe. Dry cold. Oh, close. Oh, you put some more, nice. Get back on logs. Get the 
logs up the cat food. Oh, so thing it. Oh. Right. Oh. That's the wrong button. See how fast these rocks pop back? Probably make the outside wall reinforced with these large stones. Can't even be quicker than that. Well, probably not. Maybe one of the walls. pretty quiet but that might not be a good sign that might mean that they're gonna hit us hard when they come I gotta say, even though it takes a long time, it is quite gratifying and feels good. The build, the build system feels good. It's not overly boring, even though it's quite time consuming. Which, you know, it's a pretty big achievement. Because things that take really long time like this to build usually are I'm boring, but but they're it's not in this game. It's just fun and easy to do. Ooh, that's nice. As you, oh. <laughs> Alvin, I have one of the boxes stuck on his foot. <laughs> I feel like it's been too long without an attack. They should be coming. And we will most likely experience the first death because I have any bone armor on. 
not defend myself as a wood spear. But you never know, we'll try to go down swinging. We will uh, take out as many of them as we can. If we can. Getting prepared here, it takes a while. Didn't see anywhere in the build book a gate, especially for the defensive walls. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to bridge the gap with the. Uh Port Colis here. We have maybe. Have to have an opening. But. Maybe I'll just put that far over in that corner over there. Something. So it's not. Oh, 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 it's not can fall. Oh, that's right. For them. And really, what's going to happen is we're going to fall back get into trouble at all into the house lock the door give us a little bit more time to heal and stuff like that ultimately they'll break the door down means we'll be uh, basically fighting from the inside right with the spear poking and poking yeah. which you know I can avoid a couple of key swings might be able to Could be able to survive, you never know. A little bit of luck. Because I'm familiar with this place, I'm pretty sure they're going to be coming up from down there, or coming down from up there, to attack, mostly probably coming from over here. So if I can get this somewhat blocked off, it gets super slow, I'll give myself a little bit more opportunity to fly. At least start here. Now this might not be everyone's style. You might want to go on the offensive instead of building up these defenses. That's totally cool too. You might just want to take off exploring or go cave spelunking or something. But um, today we're building the Palisade. We're going to try to test it out, see if it's worth it. A lot of effort. So is it going to help? Is it going to, is it going to you know, just fall apart when the enemy comes? Or is it actually going to help help slow them down and prevent some of them from coming in? Uh, in which case it might be useful. So it definitely uh, looks cool and gives a good vibe, feel, feel for protection. But we don't just want to feel right. We want to make sure it's really working. So like our sanity test on palisade wall or defensive walls. The only thing is, can we get it up in time before we're attacked? High probability of a no, but... Because it, it does take a pretty, as you can see, 
extensive effort. Like I said, it's actually pretty fun to do. I think that it's really boring because he's kind of setting and building and placing and stuff. And stuff. But. Maybe we'll build a choke point and traps in that choke point instead of a gate. That way, control the flow, control the traffic or the uh, um, aggression in. Try to break them down into like one single line, single point if possible, and then trap that so that it's difficult for entry point of entry which you know normally for me would actually be right here from this water walkway still might do that make it make it there i feel if it's too far like awkward all the way like i said out the other way they might just start breaking trying to break down the walls and yeah that might be a pain in the butt So it might be a good idea to actually break, explicitly break it, break the wall open here and have that opening, choke, choke point opening. Hey, there's Virginia. Come on, Virginia. Get over here. Have a nice one fire. Okay, this is the second night. There's a high probability of attack. Let's try to uh, look up black. I'm gonna try to hopefully get this food cooked, and I think I'm gonna try to go in the house and sleep. I'll uh, we'll probably take a break. Oh, look. Okay, we'll put that one in. Mm. Hey, ooh, save this. And try to sleep, see if we get attacked. Nope, if it, it'll still be nighttime if we get attacked. In fact, what we were finding during our testing the other day in our little little um, hostile test run was that there was actually a better chance of killing critters with your axe, starting axe, versus the spear, the starting spear. So I like to keep the distance with the spear, but. The axe definitely does a heck of a lot more damage. So, might try to keep fighting with the axe. We're gonna see how that goes. Oh. That always freaks me out how you scream when you take a drink. <laughs>
fish hangers here. Oh wow, look at my health. How did my health get so low? If you need health, you want to use meds. It'll slowly rebuild your health all the way up to the top. At least so far. So don't waste those meds. They're pretty precious. But when you need health, that's the way to get. To get the majority of it back, if not all of it back. Here, look, it did it again. Weird, small. Good. Oh no. <laughs> so that's bizarre. That I Hopefully that doesn't give them a chance to climb over it, because it's still sharp. Or something. The other thing is they do seem to come in if they can't get to you or they're breaking down the door or they might actually go and start breaking up all our stuff here. Potentially breaking... They tend to go for the food areas as well. Good call and good job, bud. Not sure yet how far we're going to bring this. Definitely enough, probably going to bring it right over to here, because we're going to need at least enough spot, right, to choke them in and build those traps. Take some room. We'll definitely make it hard for them. Wrap it up. Once we, yeah, we're building a trap. Once we get uh, a bunch over there, you to get our permission. What? We're back here. Oh, cool. a little. It's turning out like a little quaint homestead here. But, uh, cat food. <laughs> cat food's just opening those cans, but you can actually eat it, and it's not that bad. It doesn't make you sick or anything, and it gives a pretty decent amount of health back, or uh, food, energy, sustenance, whatever it's called.
Okay, apparently not want to go there. <laughs> Get it all. Don't do that. I'm thinking this little shorty has a uh, sign to start getting across this way. <laughs> so can kind of get it. Uh, that'll make it pretty dangerous to climb over that still. I think. Here. Now I am just, you know, gonna tell you from experience with our little, our little test run yesterday. These are pretty decent. Um, this one is obviously a lot cheaper in terms of resources. Those are like the ground snap ones. You got to reset them. This one is really good. This big uh, morning star ball uh, hokey pokey trap. It's 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 pretty good. So I'm gonna build a couple here in our choke point. Balls. So that would swing basically from there to there. So what we'll do it'll drop right from the top and then go down, but I feel like get the first one as close to the door as possible. 
passer. to go for a search of some of the smaller stones because there's so many of the big ones up here that are smaller ones. I don't think I have any wire. <clears throat> I don't think I have any wire to actually use this crap. Also, then, in that case, we should try to back it up potentially with one of those spring traps. Ice water trap. I can put them on the ground. Get out of the way, Calvin. Look like I can Okay. We'll be the close build it. If I Like, oh, I get out there. Pretty good. I'll try that. Because that's what was in my way. Okay. So let's try that. Pop this one on the other side. Hopefully, you know what, I should have... But I might have needed...
hearing a weird sound. Yep. They're pointing. This must be it. Oh, shoot, he's here. Oh. Gonna grab their bodies and throw them on the fire. Fighting against the wall or what? Yep. <laughs> Get lost, buddy. Too bad. Trying to come here and eat me and my friends. Not having it. That might have been a very small first. So a bone armor, a crafting club. A crafting club isn't too bad. Probably equivalent to what I don't like. That. When you hover over here, defense, so blocking, quite good. I guess the red one is the one that's attack, and the top one is speed? Like attack speed? Attack speed, power, defense. So, speed and power. But speed. So, yeah, this axe is still really good. This has no defensive, it doesn't have a lot of power, it has quite a bit of speed. And the knife should have a lot of speed, yep, and hardly, yep, okay. So that's definitely it. Um, the tactical axe seems to be the winner so far. So that was kind of good. They didn't climb up over here.
Hey, hey buddy. So it, 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 the, the thing that I can tell you is when I was in the larger group, two, three people, the groups of the enemies were much larger. Like we're talking five to ten uh, mob size coming in. Um, so it, it seems to be more manageable. It seems to scale to how many people, at least so far, how many people are playing. Which is really good because I was worried there's no way in heck I'm going to be able to take out 10 guys probably by myself at this level. Right? Uh, and I definitely don't have time to have all the defenses up by this time. So, uh, this is looking good. Again, another good surprise coming from this game even in, uh, you know, hostile mode if you will. Still, obviously, uh, you can only play so much in creative play mode storyline kind of you know without have, being attacked or whatnot right because only really building and learning and stuff so after that you're definitely going to want some challenge oh any rocks first oh yeah. gonna need to find you know what i should send calvin out to get them because they're and fill that holder. This guy got left behind. Start the the cross cut. I'm gonna try to basically cut across like this. Bring the palisade up behind the helicopter here, up to around here. Maybe even drop down to this ledge. Come across here. We're on the back side of the mountain here. And I mean obviously that's a lot less of priority unless they can really start climbing. So far so good. I think I actually chose the proper spot. Hey. Back here my fish. about this game is that even though there's so many things that keep you you know uh keeps you going right like it keeps you busy but not overly busy where you feel strapped where you're like oh i can't do anything that you really want to do a really good balance of everything i'll make a bone holder because we keep those inside but this our house is so small It was a prime target when we were under attack, but... What did I do? Um. I got that, all of those bones from it. Yeah, you saw that the bones come from throwing those people. Little tip about it, but throwing those people in the fire. And quite often they'll drop those little um, sachets or packages, so keep your eyes open for that. Like little pouches that you can open. And. They have goodies inside. Skin skin pouch or something like that.
Okay, actually. Man, he's finding them good. Couldn't even see them all like that. Let's see. If I couldn't even see the... Uh... Okay, so that traps up. Now, most of those traps won't set off by me or you or whatever but these ones are passive so once these things are triggered they'll hurt whatever's in their path you your friends your enemies whatever these balls do not discriminate balls of death morning stars of death um they're they're very efficient they're super i love it love them but you have to be re re-triggered right they will rock back and forth for a while continuously hitting things but then they'll slow down and stop and then you got to run out and reset them but that's why i have them behind the door hopefully we're choking enough at the door that you can stand back here come back in reset it you know take a couple swings reset back back out pretty good strategy i think so far so good Any more fish to uh dryer yep Two more that is awesome. We have a pretty decent supply so far of fish. Couldn't ask for much more. So far, so good. Um, what would? Oh. Well, well, but I know you're trying to take a break here, bud. But I need your help. <laughs> you get more logs and drop them here. And build the log holder. So it's quite large and I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. So what? You don't know where the trees are? Why put this holder back or the log holder I should say. I don't think I'm gonna have enough space out here. Jimmy, are you okay? I'm afraid of us, you're a bit skittish. Animals that came look pretty creepy, actually. One guy, he's really. Oh, I forgot I was supposed to put the rest of the logs on the trap. <laughs> well, here comes Calvin with another lo load of logs. Awesome. Such a help. Obviously not as good as a a real life buddy, uh, but 
in lieu of not having someone else here. And is he a lifesaver? Picking up. Helping us get all these resources. And I did it again. I went back to the Palisade. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Wire? It's wire. stones <laughs> okay Fifteen stones and okay so I'm gonna need crap ton of stones so looks like we're surviving by the second night with the first small little battle only two guys came but still at the same time it was a little unexpected at that exact moment they have it they came up where i wanted them to so that's good they behaved where uh how in a manner in which i hoped that they would so that's all good um oh it's getting pitch dark i'm for sleep i'm gonna go inside I'm gonna be selfish and I'm gonna lock the door. Calvin. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I don't wanna get attacked at night. I'm not invincible like some people. And we didn't get attacked. Okay. Also, he's got a sleeping area out here. Oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's see. Forgot that you don't get the drinking water symbol when you have spear out. And when you first wake up overnight, you're usually thirsty and hungry. Ah. We are going to cook some food. Calvin, back on his phone, so hard to play. Calvin, oh. Rocks, fill the holder. That was the hardest one to find for me. 
really slow. Great job. Any stuff. Dude, I can't cook. Excellent. We'll, we'll get some sticks. Where did the knife get equipped? For sure, back there. Almost just want to let him go now. It's a good job. The reason I can't. Ca oh shit! Enemies. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them. Better get back. They've invaded our forests. down the trees. They're not as efficient. Look, they're trying to get in. Get in close. Sure, okay. I can go in.
about eating the legs. <laughs> Sorry, but I will have to cook the dog. I don't have it Oh, that's the foot. Well, that my buddy was using it the other day to attract seagulls on the beach, and there's no seagulls up here, so. so wondering if he needed it again, like he needed it. Again. I think they're here. Well, that should be, I could make some bone armor, but we were finding and testing that the bone armor just breaks as soon as they hit. It does negate that specific attack, but they like basically break every single fight. So it's like you gotta have a constant supply of, of rope, which is kind of hard to find. Um, so. It's a little difficult to keep that up. And other than the bone club and the bone armor, I'm not sure if there's anything else yet. I'll keep them for now. So far, the types of enemies they've been throwing have been very manageable. Not us, they throw us like the little peons, like this guy. Oh, look at that! How did they get it back all the way back here, this totem? And they put these totems that keep coming, right? I didn't even see them put that there. That's why they've been coming here. Okay, they're gonna try to fight. Well, there's more. Like, he must have been bugging Calvin. Okay, let's go. Oh, and I need to rest or get some food or something. We'll try to get some health back. Here's that pouch I was talking about. So let's open it and see what we got. Do some more medicine. Draw meds. Ah, oh, nope, got an oyster though. Cape and 
some wire and some coins. Okay. So good. I can all use all of that. Not immediately, but. Also make bolt framework. Oh. Looks like. I'm gonna cook it right down to where it'll break back down into the bones anyway. Ow. So he was collecting stones, I think. Good for Then we're going to go back on the logs. Okay, good job, buddy. Alright, so... See, we defended off... First little wave, and then we were lucky enough to get hit by another wave of, like, peon guys, but those are, like, the... Monkey-type things that climb up into the trees. And that's right in our little forest area here that we were... We've been working on, right? Like, so we, we desperately need those resources, so we fought them off. There's one spring trap here, and I got these big traps, but they haven't been set yet. Palisade wall, or the perimeter curtain wall here with the palisade is coming along nicely, but still a pretty big work in progress. Quite a bit more logs. That can... But so far so good. Actually, when I look at it, the angle is a little off here. I'm gonna hit start turning in. I will hit helicopter. Keep going on that trajectory. Start turning that a little bit. Oops. Good. So I'm sure there's going to be more aggressive. Each wave tends to get a little bit, a little bit bigger and a little, a little more smarter, a little better equipped, and a little more eligible in terms of their fighting techniques. Um, longer you go on, definitely the bigger the challenge. Three fish this time, nice. Catch some crazy fish in that. Yeah. So this is where we're like, you know, function over, uh, you know, aesthetics. This is totally a functional style setup versus <laughs> an aesthetic setup. That's for certain. But it works. So far, so good. Still alive. For that, we can be thankful. It's like, why do you always do that? <laughs> Get new logs right where I was walking. <laughs> yeah, okay. This would probably be better so that I can build around this thing. So bring the thing right directly back over. Yeah, right, like that. 
that would be better. It's like a chalk line here in the snow. Uh, was... So one thing is, is that when there are enemies around both Virginia, that right of the forest, who's, our fr who's friend friendly, uh, will her and sometimes your Calvin will point at an enemy. If you see them like pointing in the distance, that means there's probably an enemy that in that uh, that direction. All right, so that is, I think we're going to call this a wrap. We're almost, um, for this video, it's been actually a little longer than I was, I hope, but that's the way these ones seem to be going. Um, and so we're going to finish this off next. Uh, oh, what? Hey, Calvin. What doing, bro? <laughs> you seem a little confused. I'm going to tell you to take a break. Take a break, bud. Exactly what we're going to do. Take a break. Okay? All right. <laughs> So what we'll, um, what we'll do is we're going to take a break on this video. We're going to end this one. We're gonna, next video, we're going to come in and finish off the Palisade Wall and see and, and the traps at the, at the choke point or the entrance point. And then um, we're going to uh, start doing some expeditions and see what kind of challenges it's going to throw at us. And then if, um, if all works out well, we might even retry and cut another video at a higher difficulty level just to see, just to show what it can do because I'm I am sure it gets awfully crazy because um, with multiple people it was pretty tough actually even on normal uh, so it, it, their scaling seems to be okay in fact I was thinking with two people it seemed to be a little too hard to be honest with you. Uh, but that might just be because we need to find some new gear or some new weapons or have some new technique because we're pretty new at it, right? So uh, time will tell. Anyways, um, thanks again for watching, everybody. And uh, hopefully, you know, you learned something uh, about the way that way in which you can build a little defensive setup in an under normal circumstances in a hostile environment. Um, protect ourselves to the best ability we can. The priorities of what we're kind of need to get up and running uh, and then how to handle the enemies when they come and of course use your axe at first until you got a better weapon a bigger axe and or something else um, so uh, keep that in mind and again this is Nora Storms and we are going to sign off for this video if you liked it please hit the like button or put a comment down below it really helps out the algorithm and helps a lot of other gamers see this content and types of reviews um, and of course, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. It really makes a difference. And we'll have a good day and we'll see you in the next video.